What's going on my dudes? One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Garrus in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you some tips and tricks to be aware of, some best strategies to put in place, and of course some fun and easy combos that you can learn today. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is going to be the universal language that we use so that everybody who's watching understands what we're saying. Now, Garrus is going to be an absolute lab monster and a character that's going to take some time to truly master, but give you a really good foundation. Let's go ahead and start off with the bread and butter of Garrus, his sick normals and his awesome specials. So first and foremost, with his overhead attacks, he has two one as a nice string and that can cancel into specials like so. Back forward one enhanced. Time stop, do whatever we want. We also have forward three as an overhead that can cancel, but it's really good to catch your opponent off guard. And we all know that every character's jumping attacks are an overhead, but Garrus has a really fun one. He goes WWE style with down two in the air and just body slams you and it still acts as a jump in, but it's just a fun overhead to catch your opponent off guard. Then when it comes to our low attacks, your main one you're gonna be using the most often is your forward four to four. And the reason why it's a double low and a pop-up for air combos or continuing on the ground. Speaking of air combos, as you can see, Garrus is a grappler, so he even has air grapple combo strings. We have one, two grab. Keep in mind, you can hold back during these air grabs to throw your opponent behind you. Great way to switch sides if you want to. Or we have two, one grab and same scenario. Garrus doesn't have any air combo extension specials. So if you want to extend the combo, you're either going to press just one in the air and drop down or none at all. Because you can actually continue from the ground. Garrus is a powerhouse. He does not need the air combos to do some crazy damage. But if you want to, let's go ahead and do one, two, grab in the air. As you can see, a true grab that slams your opponent back down, but does not allow for combo extension. Or we can do two, one, grab in the air. I like that one better. For some reason, it just looks fun to me. Or you can just do one in the air and you land before your opponent does, allowing you to continue the combo. So four, four one continue the combo so again your forward four is just going to be a super big staple in your move set here and if you don't want to pop him up you can still just do forward four and that's alone that can cancel into specials like so now let's go over your specials for Garrus. He's got some crazy stuff going on. And I'm not gonna lie to you, the pause menu in the advanced view mode doesn't really do the special moves justice and explains them in a really good way. So I'm here to help you today understand what's going on with Garrus. Because he can be a bit complicated, let's take it one step at a time here. We have down back three. Whoa, what does that do, one step? That gives us one countdown counter. We're just gonna call it a counter for the sake of the video. And once you have three counters, okay, that, that's two, that's three, okay. Once you have three counters, if you do your down back three again, what's gonna happen is you're gonna teleport to your opponent with a time stop, allowing you to do whatever you wanna do. Now keep in mind, during that time stop, what happens is whatever move you do last on your opponent during that time stop is the reaction that's gonna happen once it's done. You enhance your down back three, you get all three counters in one move. So if we do down back three again, we do it. Now let's do down two, down two, you see our opponent was launched in the air from our uppercut. So that's gonna be the first thing that makes Garrus a giant lab monster because it allows you to play around and mess with what do I wanna do during that time stop? Like what reaction do I wanna give to my opponent once the time stop is done? And the ways you can get that counter going is your one, two, two grab combo because you slam your opponent into the hourglass itself and that gives you a counter. And now a small note, there is no visual counter on screen to give you a visual of how many counters you now have. So right now, I as the player have to keep that track in mind. So now I know I have one counter. So going forward, if I do it one more time, now I have two, but the fight goes on. I do my combo again, one, two, two grab. This gives me three. So now I know, okay, I'm at by three. There's no visual to tell me that. I just know as the player. So now I know when I do down back three again, I'm gonna teleport time stop. Oh, yep, I was right, here we go. To keep on moving with how much of a lab monster Garrus is, we have our back forward three. What does this do, one step? It creates a save spot for you. So then what happens here is this is your save point. So I can rush my opponent, do whatever I wanna do. And then I get back to that spot. I can teleport it right back there. So it kind of, it's like a safe way to make sure that if you mess up, you're still okay. Now this is where it gets even more insane if you enhance your back forward three. You're gonna see a giant animation here. Whoa, one step, what's going on? What do I do? During that animation, any input that you do, that clone that pops up is gonna do that input, allowing two Garruses to be on screen at one time for a brief period. So what I like to do is do the enhance back forward three, do four, four, four. So my opponent comes out of it. They do that forward 4-4, four, 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 doing a low, and then I want to go in for the overhead with my forward 3. 
my opponent basically has no chance to block that. Again, that allows for some crazy time in the lab to really practice what do I want to do during that clone time stop? What do I want my clone to do when I come out of it? And what can I do to help keep the pressure on, to counteract it, to mix it up some more? It's going to take some time to practice, but man, is it going to be worth it? Give your back four to one special move, and that's great. Make sure some fun comments. We can do back one, two, back four to one. And that's always a fun combo. But if you enhance your back four to one, we get a time stop allowing us to do whatever we want to do. And that allows for some crazy combos. We have a really good anti air with our down back four, and that can also be using combos as well. But also gains armor on the enhancement, so it's a great wake up attack for that reason. Here's how that looks. The other specials Garrus has, like his back four to one, might be a good option if you catch your opponent off guard. If you enhance that, you get the time stop. So if you want to risk it, go for it. Bring you down back four, enhance is the safest option. And again, it's a great anti air as well. You have down back four as your anti air, but you also have down forward four, a whirlwind pop up. And that's great because you can hold forward or back to control the spacing of that dude. I want it to go far like that. I'm going to hold forward. If I want it close to me, down forward four back. And you can utilize that in combos as well with your four, two, four. Then you're down forward four. Allow for a pop up to continue the combo. So forward two, four, down forward four, pop up. I like to do one, two, back forward one after all that. If you enhance your back forward one to get the time stop, you can do some crazy stuff with that combo. Some fun combo strings that Garrus has as well is one, two, two grab for this sick combo that gets you a counter and it does 200 damage by itself. And you can even do that after your forward four, four move. He's got forward one, two grab. And that is so much fun to do. And you can also do that after your forward four, four. Keep in mind your 2-1 is an overhead that counts as in the specials. Your 4-2-4 can cast on your down forward four, and that's great. But if you hit confirm that you can finish it with 4-2-4-2, do a time stop and continue from there. Example A. You might be wondering, what is that grab you saw at the end there? That is our down forward two. It has very specific range. We also have a down back two, but the same thing applies for rain. But here's how it looks when hit. Not a lot of combos can go into that grab. Like, if we try doing a one, two, down forward two, it's not gonna hit. But I found for most juggling combos, if you end with forward two, you can go into down forward two from there, like so. Now, simple note about that special move, both the down back two and the down forward two, is that grab does more damage if you're getting your opponent out of a corner. So you'll see here when we do it, it does 120 damage. But if we get our opponent away from us out of a corner, we do 190 damage. So it's kind of a trade-off, right? You get your opponent out of the corner, so you lose the corner pressure, but yet you do more damage for the grab. And that can make for some crazy combos out of the corner. Keep in mind, that is a true command grab. So basically, if we see our opponent blocking a lot, and we're like, why are you blocking? Psych, you're not gonna block that, boy. The biggest strategy with Garrus is your time stop, your time counter. So you wanna do your down back three whenever you get the chance to do so. Mentally keep track of how many counters you're at, because you don't wanna do down back three thinking you're gonna do a counter, when in reality, you're already Full, so you do the time stop move. So let's say you go to do a counter. You're like, okay, I'm gonna get a counter now. Oh wait, I didn't know what to do here. What do I do? What do I do? You want to keep track of how many counters you got. As you can see, Garrus is gonna be an absolute monster on the field and will take some time to practice and master. But man, the, the time you put into him is gonna be so worth it. To help you get a really good basic foundation, let's go ahead and get into some fun and easy combos to get you started with Garrus today.
guys let me know down below what do you think of garrison mortal kombat 1 do you like him do you hate him are you gonna main him subscribe here for more mortal kombat content and take it one step at a time